coach. Well, it was exciting, you know, to get out there for the first time back home. Um, you know, it's always really exciting, always the first game of the year. Uh, I know our players were really excited to get out there and, you know, felt like we started really well. You know, you know kind of took the first couple drives down, got in good rhythm, hit some nice shots, um, had some explosive plays and uh, got the ball rolling a little bit and scored those uh, early touchdowns pretty quickly. And, um, you know, I thought we managed the drive well and I thought we executed well, which is the biggest thing. And then, um, you know, I think there's a lot of good things. Uh, defense did a heck of a job tonight, um, really played unbelievable and gave us a lot of short fields, uh, which, uh, which helped us, you know. Um, but at the same time, I think we were 6-6 six six inside the red zone, which was a positive and uh, scored uh, five, of, uh, five touchdowns out of six uh, red zone uh, opportunities. I think we scored seven out of our first ten drives. Um, so we did a lot of good things, um, but we have a lot to clean up, you know. I uh, felt like uh, we kind of got out of rhythm at times, uh, especially there late in the first half and really in the second half, uh, kind of got out of rhythm and, uh, you know, uh, had some uh, inopportune time penalties that set us back behind the chains, had some, uh, had some drops that uh, were really, uh, you know, kind of kind of hurtful and um, just didn't get back in rhythm at times. So uh, overall, um, you know, I know, uh, it was exciting how we started. Uh, we just got to make sure we, we maintain that same energy the first couple drives throughout the entire game. Since I think you guys had a <coughs> vanilla game plan tonight by, by design, how do you think Jackson played with what you asked us to do? I think he managed the game well. You look at I think he was 17 to 25, uh, and he had four drops. And so, um, you know, I thought he managed it well. We didn't push the ball downfield as much as we would have liked to maybe. Um, but... Uh, you know, when you're up like that and just trying to manage and trying to play a lot of different guys and a lot of different personnel groupings, um, you know, to see what you have, it's uh, that's part of it. But, uh, you know, I thought he managed the game very well. What did you think about the offensive line tonight, especially Gary and Hunter? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, a guy having to step up and, again, go in and play, uh, you know, a different pr position that he's, he's practiced a little bit, but other than what he started. and. Um, you know, I thought overall, again, it's probably a lot like most of the team. We have a lot to grow on. We have a lot, a lot to get better at. Um, you know, but I thought, you know, as of right now, solid. You know, but uh, that's why we watch the tape. It's hard for me to come off the field and haven't seen the game itself. I, I feel like it was uh, four hours from quarter one to quarter four. Um, but uh, I think overall, um, you know, those guys stepped up, played a lot of different guys in a lot of different positions, which was good to see. I think that's part of the game. You know, it's going to be all season long. You know, you're you're uh, you know you're going to play a tough schedule, and uh, you know at different times, different guys are going to have to step up and make plays when they're called upon, uh, whether that's. Uh, at any position. And so that's why, you know, um, I think early in the season it's important to play a lot of different guys and make sure that they, especially with some of the young guys that we have in, I think we have a lot of young special players and uh, they need those game reps um, in order to, uh, you know, get that experience to where they, they feel comfortable when they do go in there. And so, um, again, it was awesome to play a lot of different guys. And, uh, you know, I felt like a lot of guys, uh, you know, when they got their opportunities, played well. Um, you know, again, a little vanilla tonight. Um, you know, thought we could have done some better things, thought we could have, uh, you know, made some better opportunities um, and, and some, and, you know, making sure we extended drives better. Um, but uh, overall, again, uh, did accomplish what we kind of went out to accomplish tonight. Seth, with so much newness in this offense, whether it's you or Jackson, offensive line, so many different injuries and stuff. Is it safe to say that you kind of have to be patient for this offense to make a clip? I'm not a very patient man myself, uh, and I don't, and again, I don't expect anybody else to. Uh, at the end of the day, it's our job to 
uh, you know, make sure as coaches we put the, the players in the best situation to be successful. And the player's job is to go in there and execute and do their job uh, when they're in there um, in order to, to help our team win. And so it's a, it's a two-way street. And, uh, again, we're going to continue to work and, uh, you know, get a day better, get a week better. I love our group. They work extremely hard. Um, you know, they've, had a, they, they've grinded through this fall camp uh, with uh, – and it's been a grind. Uh, it's been a – you know, we put them through uh, a pretty tough camp. And, um there's been a lot of ups and downs, but I'll tell you what, they're, they're very, uh, they're very, they're a tough group. Uh, they love ball. They love each other. Uh, and it's a cool group to be around. So, uh, there's no doubt in my mind, we'll continue to get a day better and continue to, um, you know, keep moving forward and, and, uh, helping this football team win games. How much do you challenge that wide receiver room with what they faced with, uh, Susan Jake Furtick and now with Jill Elba out for an extended amount of time? How much do you challenge those guys to really step up and be, Able to contribute even more, especially those young players. Hey, you have to. I mean, again, uh, it's going to happen, and, and we t we talk about it all the time. You know, when one one man goes down, another man has to step up and make those plays, and it's just not that guy coming in uh, that has to do that. The the offense has to, the whole offense as a whole has to really step up around uh, those injuries, and so. Again, I feel good about um, the guys we have, the toughness we have. Um, you know, we just got to execute a little bit better at times. You know, I think there's a couple opportunities in there that uh, we really uh, hurt ourselves uh, that we can learn from, that we have to grow from in order to uh, be the team that we want to be. Um, but, uh, you know, I thought for the most part, uh, a lot of those young guys um, did some really good things. Yeah, Deion's very explosive, um, you know, and obviously very talented as a receiver, um, being able to get the ball in his hand quick, um, you know, just trying to find as many different ways to get in the ball. You know, with an explosive guy like that, it's uh, uh, always trying to find different ways, uh, along with all of, uh, all of our guys, you know, um, just trying to find different touches and different ways to get our playmakers the ball. And I thought tonight uh, we were trying to find some of those. We did at times. Um, and again, Deion's playing a lot of different roles right now, especially with some of the um, guys that went down. He's, he's playing in all the different uh, personnel groupings uh, tonight. And so there was a lot on his plate, especially game one uh, in a new system um, and did a lot of great things. And so we got to continue to grow. He has to continue to grow in his role. And again, uh, we have to continue to grow uh, in a lot of roles offensively. And you know, that's, that's the purpose of game one, trying to put as many different personnel groupings out there as we can to see exactly, um, you know, how we feel about each, each, each one, one, and two, uh, trying to get as many reps as possible for guys to stay fresh um, throughout the season. You, you didn't throw deep much. Is mm -hmm. that by design going in, or is that just trying waiting for your offensive line to gel? What was the rationale? No, I thought uh, we, did, we didn't. We, were, we got pretty vanilla. Once our drive started stalling at times, uh, we didn't get back in rhythm. Uh, some of that, you know, we're not obviously, we're not going to show everything game one, but at the same time, uh, I felt like we needed to be a little bit more explosive in the passing game. Uh, and again, uh, some of that is the calls and some of that is the execution of the calls. And so, um, again, that's an, a, definitely a, an area that we must improve on um, and something that, uh, uh, that I truly believe in. I do think you have to push the ball down the field and be explosive. You know, I don't, uh, I'm not one of those guys that feels like, uh, you know, you have to have these 14, 15 play drives, you know, four yards a cloud of dust. We have to be an explosive offense. Um, that's something I believe in. But uh, at the same time, I thought we were efficient in what we did tonight um, in order, you know, sometimes with the short fields, you're not able to go through some of the shots, some of the extended shots down the field just because of the amount of grass you have as well. And so some of that plays into it. But overall, again, um, you know, uh, I feel like we accomplished what we needed to today. Time for one more question. You did this in the Alamo Bowl, but now it's your offense, your call of plays. What was it like to be back to doing what you're doing now as a coordinator? Oh, it's been great. I've enjoyed it. Again, it's a, it's a great staff. It's a great group of men. Uh, I love our players. Um, you know, again, uh, we have a lot of work on, um, but it's a tough group. I'm excited about this group. They come to work every single day looking to get a day better. So, uh, But it's been a blessing to be back home, and um, I'm excited about the year. Thanks, Thank you all.